look around the room real quick and just think about what you see, and I'm going to tell you what I see. Just look around the room. Look at each other. Look at each other's face. Somebody say NFL. NFL. No, no, no. I said somebody say NFL. What you're looking at right now is the new face of leadership. That's what you're looking at. You're looking at the new face of leadership. Now, phenomenal. Um, Jace, it's, it's a hard act to follow, but I'm going to try to just supplement if I can for a moment. Is that okay with you? All right, so I come from a long way. I come from Harlem, New York. Not the, not the new Harlem, the old Harlem. <laughs> right? Let me, let me specify. The old Harlem, right? The true Harlem. Most people my age demographic are either dead or in jail for life. They didn't make it out. I'm one of the rare few, one of the rare few. And that's because I chose to go the route of SOE. So a lot of people in business talk about SOPs. Everybody know what SOPs are? <laughs> yes, ma'am. But Jay said something about SOEs. Does anybody know what SOE is? There you go. Say it again. Standards of excellence. So I help people put zeros behind their numbers. I help people move up in or out of their organization. Yes, ma'am. And get paid their annual income monthly, their monthly income weekly, and their weekly income daily. But I do that be with a standard of excellence. The way we show up many times for other people is absolutely phenomenal. But the way we show up for ourselves is lackadaisical. We don't really show up for ourselves the way we could if we really put the kind of standards of excellence that we show for other people on ourselves. I don't have so much time, but I want to give you a couple bullet points. I hope everybody has something to write with. If not, I promise you, if you follow me at all, you're going to want to use something to write with. CSA, first, CSA, clarify, simplify, and amplify. Clarify, simplify, and amplify. It starts with the decision. Who do you want to do? Who do you want to be? And what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? You have to define that. If you don't know, then it's vague, and it'll never be clear. The problem that we have is clarity. We're not clear. We walk into an organization happy to be there, happy that they accepted us, happy that they're, they're, they're willing to have us. But we don't have a clear goal. That's why people stay in the same organization year after year after year, go to the same vacation spots with the same people and talk the same amount of nonsense around the same water cooler. So when I go into an organization and someone says they've been here for 20 years and they're still around 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars, I'm like, whoo, it's chilly. It's a little bit cold because it's hard to build a legacy with that. It's real hard. I've, I've worked with people in organizations whose wives and husbands try to figure out how they can get their vacation around the same time. How can we line this up so we can go on vacation together? And is it the same place? I'm tired of hearing the word staycation. Huh? <laughs> That's painful to me. When I know that all it takes for you to raise your prices, whether it's inside or outside of an organization, is self-belief and dedication.